Hey gang, today we're going to make some delicious jerky. I'm going to make two kinds. I'm going to make out of a uh, turkey loin, I'm going to make some turkey jerky, and I'm going to make some beef jerky. And I'm going to unveil the nice slicer that Patreon Cole Majore bought for me. Thank you again, Cole, very much. Uh, we're going to do this uh, on a regular coal barbecue. I'm going to add some cherry wood, and we're going to smoke today. We're show you in a couple fun. of seconds. How to slice and use this new slicer i'm just opening it up myself so stay tuned uh today's sponsor of course beer delicious beer and if you want to sponsor me i would love it man ah so refreshing okay we're gonna go ahead and start with just slicing the meat this will be my first time i got a couple of these uh tri-tips Nice for uh, seven dollars actually. So I'm going to cut this one in half. Nice looking piece of meat for jerky. Not a big fan of London broil for just eating. Nice. Seven bucks. That's a pretty good fat piece of meat there. Big old piece of meat. Okay. Oh Lord. Here we go. Oops. First time ever. Go all the way back here. Turn it on. Blessing that me. Perfectly sliced for jerky. Still learning. <laughs> As you can see, I have two plates of this meat. I've already made this up, and this has some pepper seeds, uh, some brown sugar, some restaurant style teriyaki sauce, salt, pepper, minced onion, some chili powder, uh, some, some lemon pepper, some coarse ground black pepper. A little bit of lemon juice and uh, we're going to go ahead and just start putting this meat in here letting it get marinated it's an awful lot and then i'll be separating it once it all gets in there that meat slicer slices this meat up so nice can't wait when this finally gets done on my 20 inch kettle style barbecue oh yeah look at that lots of meat it's going to be delicious so just stay tuned because I'm going to show you how I'm going to get brine that uh, that turkey too. And this is the turkey. Very small pieces. And it's soaking in a separate brine. And it's an experimental brine because I've never uh, made turkey jerky. Oh nice. What a mess. All right, guys, just keep hanging in there. We're getting there. Okay. We've got the smoker rolling. I'm going to lay this right over these, this here. This is just a portion of it. Keep it away from that heat. want this to have a good smoked flavor. I don't, I'm not using a lot of coals. I used to have a friend that made jerky and uh, he would make it so thick it was just unbelievable. I like it a little bit thinner. So anyway you get the gist here. So uh, I will uh, Get back to you here very shortly. Once I get this on there, okay? Stay with me, folks. Just, that's how much I can put it on at a time. So it's going to be a process. Uh, it smells so good, it's just in it being raw right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I better get one of my sponsors. 
I just want to show you the smoking. This is the second batch. And it is looking beautiful. Going with a very low temperature. Cherry smoke. It's going to be awesome. Thank you very much. Okay, so the jerky is done. That is beautiful. Mm. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start a new batch of coals and I'm going to do the turkey. Mm, man, that is good. So stay tuned, my friends. All right, now we're going to put the turkey on. This will be the first time I make turkey jerky. This has been marinating all night. Yes, indeedy. That meat slicer came in handy. That is so nicely done. And I will bring you back and show you this when it's partially done. Uh, and I'll show you the end result. I'm going to enjoy a nice beer while this is going. I got a nice flame. I got a piece of wood under those coals and a piece of wood on top. Of course, it's cherry. Stay tuned, my friends, and thank you again for watching. And the turkey is done. Got a little bit of a little bit of a darkness on it. That's okay, though. Uh, it's just jerky, home stuff. Still good. And I see that even way back here, it's got a great look to it. Oh yeah, let this cool down a little bit and it should be just fine. And this is not burnt. It just has that nice done look. Look at this beautiful glaze look on it. So. And that is it. It's very nice. This is the done product, and it is of turkey. Take a small piece. Yeah, I think I'll just sense this one's like this. Wow. Oh my gosh. Mm. I'm gonna give a piece of this to Mrs. Bigfoot. Mmm. Wow. Turkey, mm. turkey. Really yeah. good. So this is what I got out of the beef, guys. Now Mrs. Foot, Mrs. Barbecue. This was her bag. They're all about this size. She likes it. I'm glad. It's really good. So this is what I got. Out of the beef. I'd say this would be about two bags. Man, this is good. This turkey yeah, is good. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. Wow. Um, mm -hmm. I just wanted to thank all of you. Again, this is so important to me. And now I, I want to ask you guys, help me get to 500 subscribers. If I can get 500 subscribers, we're going to have a live show. And uh, we're going to have music and everything. I'm going to cook four separate things and get it done in an hour while we entertain. And, and I can't do it without your help. And any kind of donations or anything you, you guys feel like you could send to the show is going to go on food and equipment to make better this turkey's really good i appreciate you you don't have to give me a thing so just watch and, and i appreciate you enjoy always enjoy your food have a good day